surprise, this is another live. And I thought I would uh, turn the cameras on because I've got to, I forgot to show some of the inks this morning when I was showing all of the, the new releases. Crazy, I know. So what I did show, what I remembered to show this morning was the new glass dip pens. So we've had some beautiful designs, we have new designs and they just build on to the uh, arc of the <laughs> existing gorgeousness. We have the mermaid tail glass dip pen and if you don't know what a glass dip pen is I'll most likely show you or you can watch the last video. This is the Inktopus uh, which is, uh, these have got sparkling elements inside the glass, so they're dimensional. And this is the Paper Lion, like the, like French for butterfly, but not just Papillon. Paper Lion, Inktopus, and uh, other creatures. So we've also got the Birth of Venus, the new Pebble Pigments, gorgeous, all the new pinks. And the new tattoo inks, this is what I've got to show, so I've got to do a video. And so I thought, well, I've got to swatch these out again. And uh, I thought I might just, well, and I've got to do photos and all of that sort of stuff. So I thought I'll just do them with you. So I put the art on, just the art for now. And then clear these little fellows, ladies and gents, and assorted away. So the pebble pigment is uh, the a beautiful, shimmering, changing pigment. Each one's a different colour. There's uh, four different sets now. And the new one's the Birth of Venus. It has four different pinks. I'll show you them in a sec. Uh, so I'm going to pop them over there. This is the gorgeous box. The little Botticelli. My favourite painting is Botticelli, uh, Botticelli's Birth of Venus. And, uh, oh, the gold. <laughs> mm. uh, it also comes with the little shells so that you can turn them into dear little watercolours in the shell. You can just put them in normal pans as well. Uh, but there's just something extra magical about painting with paints that are called Birth of Venus and they're in little shells. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's just a little bit magical. Why not make everything magic, right? Uh, so I'm going to pop my little bubbies over there. I might pop my other little set there. Okay, which pen am I going to use? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I could, uh, we'll keep it ocean themed because we've got the skulls. So I'll just move my little pop it over there. Do you need all the different uh, glass dip pens? No, you don't. Do you need all the pens? Do you need every watercolour? Do you need all the pens? No. Well, you don't. I do. You might need them all as well. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I make art supplies mainly for myself. I'm very honest and open about that. <laughs> it's all about me. Okay. Jokes aside. I'm not really joking. Um, I'm going to keep you out, yes I am, you little cuties, because why wouldn't I? But, oh, this is a little ink that I've made. So the ink, the little, I'll just say, the glass pen set. Oh, well these ones are going to be empty. Oh no, here we go. But usually there's a little empty bottle in here, a little stand, just a little simple stand for these ones. Uh, you've got the glass pen in there in this nice foam. Now what you can do is just throw that bit out if you wanted to um, because it would just be a hassle squeezing them in and out. And I'll put all of mine and I'll gently put them all in the one box and have them on my table. Uh, the only thing you need to be careful of with a uh, dip, a glass pen, obviously is glass. You've got to be a little bit... Uh, aware that it's fragile, the tip is fragile. That's the magic. Its greatest bonus, its its greatest beauty is also its, you know, flaw. So how human it is. Right, I'm going to probably use my little tentacle, my inktbus. 
Now there, I'm going to move that out of the way. Look at me. Right, getting organised. So this morning we were playing around with lots of various things. Hey Jenny, hey Bonnie, hey Julie, hey Kelly. Bonnie says hashtag art supply addict. Oh yes, we, we know it around here. So this is levitation paper. I've got the sheening ink on here that I, uh, I've got Mary Celeste in here. And uh, I also added some of the pigment pebble to it, so it's got its sheen, it's got glimmer and sheen happening. I've added water to it. Um, I used the glass dip pen. I used the ink in a spray. One of the beautiful things about the pebble pigments is that that is a tongue twister. Uh, is you can use them in a mister bottle. We have another gorgeous set of shimmering pigments called Fairy Dust that are a little bit more glistening, a bit more shimmery than this because the particle is bigger. But the trade-off is if you want the, the more punchy particle, it can't get through the little flibbity gibbets um, of pens and misters, that sort of thing. Some pens, it just depends on the pen. Um, the other one is, for instance, the Star Power, which has the most incredible glimmer. I mean, this is shining for the gods uh, on Mount Olympus. Uh, but there's just no way those big particles can get through a mist bottle, for instance. I've lost the lid for that and I need... There she is. <gasps> Uh, okay, well, and I need that pen. So this is um, the Mist of Right. You might not have seen this before. This is a little tiny spray bottle that we have. Um, I'm very partial to them, not only because they're a nice little mister, but I've got a lot of inks. I've got a lot of sprays. Hashtag Art Supply Addict. And uh, this introduces a storage issue. Now for inks that I spray a lot all the time, I put them in a bigger mister bottle like this. This one needs refilling. This is the Tattoo Pink. This is a neon. This is the brightest pink ink you can get and it is waterproof. Hello. We'll talk a bit more about tattoo inks in a minute. But I love to put uh, all of my inks in sprayers so I've got all of them there. At the ready I've also got them in uh, mermaid brushes as well or the Inky Depths brush. Um, so when they're in this thin pen style, it means I can have lots of sprays. This is just me, how I like to uh, have things. This is also why I always have extra stickers in most of my sets so that I can label things as I love to label things. Um, total squirrel, can't remember even what else to Oh, okay. So that's what the Mr. Right is. So is the Mr. Right... Uh, called Mr. Right, there's two colours by the way, does it have a, it actually has a pen in the end of it. Do you need a pen in the bottle of your Mr. Bottle? Not really. This is a very nice pen, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, but then if I didn't have a pen in it, I wouldn't be able to call it Mr. Right, W-R-I-T, would I? So, I thought, where's a lighter colour so you can see it? Oh, it all beautiful dark ones oh there we go that one needs refilling mr right so you know sometimes <laughs> so i've um, i put a little bit of gold ink on here brush with fame for a little bit of detail this is just spraying and playing with a sort of a simple body form coming down through here. I'm just going to hold it on an angle too, just so you can see uh, how lovely and shimmery we are. We've got a bit of watercolour on here as well. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just give it a little bit of a side eye. <gasps> this is a very nice little pen. So it's not just a gimmick. <laughs> it is actually very useful. Very, very fine gel tip. So some people may love the pen so much that people might ask them, but why do you have a spray bottle on the end of your pen rather than the other way around? Uh, 
Uh, these other lines that I've got here are from the glass dip pen, but we can, we don't have to use just one or the other. Um, oh no, Bonnie dropped her little shell packets behind. You'll just have to crawl under there and get her, get them out. You, they don't do anything functional having them in this. It's just that. It makes me want to use them more and maybe that's enough. <laughs> it's just why not have life being as fun and amazing as you can make it, huh? Why not? Oh, I love these pens. Oh my gosh. I just love paint pens in general, but the brush with foam paint pen, honestly. Do I say that about everything? I think I might. Oh well. Of course I love my little creations. If I didn't, I wouldn't put my name on it. Right. I just really am enjoying the look of this. This was with one of our lace stencils. This is a print called Partridge. And the thing with our laces is we they come, they go, they come, they go, and there are new designs every so often. And we have people who collect all of them. Um, and I'm not saying this to make you panic and eh, um, <laughs> and they're scared. But it just, in, just in case the one that I show you isn't around anymore, it doesn't matter. There'll be something else that's just as glorious, okay? Right, now, I need to uh, turn my, I need to show you these. Let's just turn the page and, uh, well, let's for a start, let's just, always I give everything a little shake. You don't really need to with these, but not an overly vigorous one. Now, this has got a safety cap on it, so we just push it a little as we go. Oh, the colour. And... I'm going to put a little bit of water in my brush, not too much. Where is my Dame Judy drench? Oh, oh there she is. Oh, come on. I, j I use my little sponge here to help control uh, the amount of water that I've got everywhere going all over. So I'm just going to put her off to the side. She needs a bit of a clean. She's looking a bit unsightly. So I'm just rather than have you vomit. She's a functional creature. So I'm going to pop her there. These are all of the other tattoo ink colours. So I'll bring them down and I've got them in my fountain pens, which is a fountain pen, and uh, the inky uh, depth brush, water brush. Let's just... So this dries to a waterproof finish. So I'm just going to... Oh, and because this is a little bit of a colour mixing set as it happens, we'll just do another little dot and a dot there, just because we can. And uh, then we're going to uh, put the next colour on. So this is II, which is a um, purpley version of Tattoo Ink, just a slightly pinkier version. And Tattoo Kink, rather, which is one of the best colours ever. So I'll bring that one down so I, we can compare. Okay. And this is a Hoy, which is a warmer um, yellow than Plunder, which is our other yellow. This is a Hoy. So actually I could put my little uh, is this my clean brush? No. And let's, I'll oh, actually spread this out on here because that's the colour I've got on there. Oh, I was meant to do another dot and a dot for that one. So we're just going to do a little bit of colour mixing here. And this was blue, so blue and So it's how... 
Oh, I had yellow in my brush. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll do it again. Love that colour. Okay, we need to remember that. Just a little bit of yellow in with the purple. We just need to remember that as well. But that's the actual colour without our <laughs> the other one in there. And then we've got our little dots of colour here. So let's mix them just to see how we can use it as a colour mixing set. Oh, and while I've got this nice purple in my brush, I'm just going to Now I went to life drawing last week and we had a male model and it was so fascinating drawing beards. I got fully into it because the dude had uh, a little, you know, beard and it was just really fun. And then he had his little mouth in between so I've got a bit of a pirate happening. Okay, well, and then we'll mix these two. Isn't that a lovely green? This is a nice natural green. And then when we mix these two, we're going to get uh, an orange. And, and depending on how much um, of each colour, you're going to get a slightly different uh, input. But because these are a yellow, a blue and a pink or red, in that family. Ooh, this is why you put the lid back on, children. Wait a minute, I'll just, I'm not going to waste this. Not on all the colour. <laughs> no, we're not wasting a drop. <gasps> Yum. So I've got a bit of water in my brush and uh, isn't that the most beautiful colour? So that is, um, I may as well scoop, I've got ink everywhere now. Let, oh, I've already painted the little. Uh... <laughs> now this is a permanent ink, so it is waterproof once it's dry. And well, let's say highly water resistant. If you've got a really thick application of any ink and in mixed media we we can do a bit of a thick application even something that says it's waterproof um, ink wise can uh, still move because you've got particles sitting on particles rather than attaching to paper it's just a little technical thing um, now I need to just take a little bit off that so I can still read the wordage there we go we've got that one Oh, she got some on her little bottom. And of course, one of the beautiful things about the tattoo ink is the skull. And it's part of the Jolly Roger. So for me, it's part of um, pirates, which are part of mermaid, the mermaid universe. And uh, just a little bit of fun. Now I'm going to, um, because I feel like it, I'm going to dip into one of these inks that are, well, actually, let's make a glittering waterproof ink. I've got a spare one of these. It might go yellow. Oh, should I go my purple? I'll go my purple. Go my pinky purple. Oops. So um, I'm going to, it's got the little dripper so I can suck up some of the ink uh, in here. This is a fountain pen friendly ink, of course dip pen friendly, everything friendly. We can put it through the mister bottles uh, and everything else we want to do with it. I probably should need to make a fountain pen. Uh, ink out of it. Um, we might do that in a minute. But I definitely need to make a water brush 
and at least one Thunton pen. What colour am I going to put in there? Um, I might go for the iridescence. So I'm just going to need to, because this is a smaller bottle, just crack that in half and drop it in. No fumes, no <laughs> potions. I thought I'm going to go and a bit extra to pop that one in too. Oops. Yum. Lots of nice little pinks. Okay. Uh, the little bottle's got that little rubber stopper. That is better. So you don't get ink everywhere, but look at me already. Now I'll just check my little questions here. And, uh, whoops, just grabbing a little drinky poo. This is uh, one of my art clutches that I keep my little must refill that soon. And if you really, really go to town with ink and you get a lot of ink on your hands, I find the best way is to go and wash your hair. It just, or have a long shower and it all just magically comes off without even scrubbing. Uh, so yes, very nice. Right. So we've got our, uh, now if you really decided you wanted to always have it sparkly, you could always add your pebble pigments into that, into the whole thing, but then you've, you, uh, you know, you've, they're there then. Um, that's it, really. Um, now I've just made a nice little concoction. Oh, have I shaken it up? Yes, oh, you can see the gorgeousness under there. It doesn't really change the colour of the ink. Um, it can a little bit because it's got that optical, it's got the shimmer over the top, so it's going to give you an optical change. Now, which, <gasps> yes, let's go. I'm going to just do that again. Mm. Now, if you've got a lot of the shimmer and it's all like on the bottom of your pen, it can actually sit there and block the ink a little bit. But it's pretty easy to move it on. And let's um, draw some little details. with our super fine dip pen. Let's give him, a, this one's having a big moustache. I think we've got pirates happening here. So that's what just happened then. There was, must have been a little, um, I haven't let the ink completely dissolve yet. Oh, he's rather grumpy, isn't he? Oh, the lines that this thing makes are just too good to be true. Oh, I think I have to look up what a pirate's hat looks like. I can't quite remember. Have they got feathers? I think it depends on the flamboyancy of said pirate. Mm, and there's the glimmer happening. I've got the beautiful purple ink. I'm very happy. I'm very enjoying myself right now. Um, oh, we really should have a parrot here. But maybe this is, um, there were some female pirates. Why does she have to be in green? I don't know. Maybe she's seasick. Maybe this is his new bride. And she wasn't quite given the full story of um, where she was going. And when he said he had his own boat, she didn't really understand um, that it wasn't a power boat that he was talking about, an oldie worldy pirate ship. And uh, she's not quite uh, down yet with the... Um, 
pirate life. She hasn't quite decided that the pirate life is for her. She's just a little bit seasick. And he's he's saying, I'm sorry, I I didn't tell you because um well I thought you wouldn't I thought you wouldn't come along on the ride. And she said, Yeah, you were right about that. So she's not really sure, but she still likes him. So she's willing to give it a go. Maybe it's true love after all, but she's still not feeling very well. She's also wondering, uh, can she put up with all the scabbers dogs who are on the, that's what they call themselves, not her. He's got a few curls in his beard. Oh, I might need to get a bit more ink. So we just treat the tip with a little bit of TLC, that's all. <laughs> what will I use to clean my hands? Yes, just um, water. A bit of dishwashing liquid things get really out of hand. So maybe she is going to become um, a wonderful pirate herself once she gets over uh, the seasickness. But um, we won't know for a while. And let's just get some eyeballs down. This one here is very not happy. With um, oh, he's got very ill-formed eyes, and he's very not happy with this situation, and he is planning a mutiny. He's got mut mutton chop uh, sideburns. He's having mutinous thoughts. He's got a little beard like that. Um, but what I think he might find is that she's, the, she's going to be the best captain that this lot have ever had because she's going to bring some, bring some structure and some stability to this chicken operation. Oh, I nearly swore then. See, the stories aren't, they're, just, they're coming to me, you know, they're not just mine. So he's got his pirate hat. They all have the same hat. Does only the captain wear the fancy hat? I don't know. So before this, well, even if it does dry, because, oh no, it's waterproof. Yes, yeah, so I need to do move in fairly quickly. But look, oh, and I've got the shimmers in there as well that are moving out. Yum. So eventually we won't be able to turn this into watercolour. It will dry um, very uh, waterproof. Should we give him a little bit of... I think he looks, looks quite fetching and with a purple beard. Oh, I love these two colours together. So he's angry at the moment, but he'll calm down. This one's just worrying how he's going to control all the other men. Uh, but, you know... Fun. Okay, so now before I do anything else, don't you think I should? <gasps> do you know who she is? This is why she feels seasick. Oh, she's a mermaid. Okay, so this is part of it. Like, 
she hasn't got sea legs because, well, she's never had legs before. So she's very, um, this is very new for um, our little lady here. Very new. And, um, oh, I might, I might go in with this. This is a little mixture I made. Oh, no, that's your full sale. Okay. Now I'm going to pop a little bit of ink into, I've got a little shot glass uh, on here. Because I haven't got any of these little bottles just sitting here left at the moment. So I'm going to put a bit of full sail uh, in here. Should we add a little pigment pebble? Just a little. Just, just, just for a little bit of glimmer. But I can use one of my old ones. Oh, old? Gosh, sorry to call you that. You're hardly old, but I think I might put green in there. Mm, why not? I probably don't need to put in a whole one, but the, so the first three uh, sets all have flowers and butterflies as the shape of the 3D. And now this one, the birth of Venus, has the um, ocean, has shells and starfish as the little shapes uh, of the pebbles. Oh yes, that's going to be rather gorgeous. Very mermaidly. So I'm just going to roll my little glass brush around in there. Brush, pen, whatever. Um, I'm going to just turn it up a little. Just give it a little, just to help the ink come down into there. And uh, let's get our mermaid on. Oh, you know it's a good day when a mermaid comes to visit. So she's a little bit green around the gills, because she does actually have gills. That's where the saying came from. That's not true. I don't know where the saying came from. But it could, it could have come from this. Uh, aren't the lines gorge? I really think I might take... Uh, am I brave enough to take, do this? for? It would be very nice for life drawing tomorrow. Hmm... So she's got a little top on because she's got all these men, you know, around. She doesn't want to cause a riot too early on. They'll all be under her spell soon anyway, so she, she, she knows she'll be right. Oh, but has she got her tail or her legs? I think they're just winching her up on there. No, she's got her legs because I can't fit her. I feel like drawing the tail, so the tail is about to happen. Okay. And then she's doing this, uh, so if she's doing that, her thumb is, we can't see, okay. Mm, something, something. But if this is a mermaid, then her hair isn't very mermaidly yet. Maybe as you become a human, your hair isn't as mermaidly. I'll have to watch The Little Mermaid again. She's definitely green around the gills, we know that for a fact. Um, now we've got a bit more of our green sparkle happening. So this is full sail that I'm using here. And because she's a mermaid and she's, you know, in love with the cap'n, um, all of the sea creatures she doesn't have dominion over, but she can talk to them. So she can send whales against, you know, people that are following them, attacking them, or she could send, you know, like dolphins in. Flying fish to, you know, bamboozle people as they steal up stealthily. She could get all of her sisters, her mermaid sisters, to... Uh, Sing and distract rivals. 
to this outfit. So he's actually quite happy now. He can see the benefits of um, a mermaid in their midst. He still doesn't know what to do about it. He's relying on old stereotypes. This is a new crew member. They've only just joined. They just don't really know what to think yet. Um, they're feeling like they made a bit of a mistake anyway and that they're not going to ever drink again. That was, that's this guy. Can't quite remember how he got on board, but he's there now and he's going to make the best of it. And he's got a little moustache that he's growing and a little beard. No hair on his head. So he's just really along for the ride. He's just going to wait and see what happens. Okay, that was Angus just texting me said, he's made dinner. Right, so I'm just giving that a little clean. Oh, how cute. And I, I must remember to bring down the little sketches uh, of the different little designs so that I can show you how lovely um, they're cute and then uh, they're interpreted because I can't do glass myself I have to have glass artisans oh I want the pink to stay on there actually it looks very pretty but we do need it to come off um, That was a lot of fun. Now, of course, you can put tattoo ink into accoutrement accessories like the Mr. Right. What have I got in here? Oh, this is tattoo. This is bordello, tattoo pink and shark bite. Look at that color. It's a neon red. Um, I'm just going to grab something. Just one second. Grabbing some supplies quickly. So I can put these. I know it's a bit different for me because it's my shop, so I've got unending resources that, you know, because I can just get more of them. Uh, so I just fill them and leave them. But you could just put in enough ink to use them for whatever it is that you're doing, and then so you don't have to have loads and loads of these. Or you could be like me and have loads and loads of them. Oops, so you've got pens and pen. I've got a hundred water brushes just sitting there. Every ink set I have to put in the Inky Depths water brush and of course they have mermaid tails. So the turquoise is for the medium, the pink is for the fine and there is a purple which is a broad which is a much bigger one. Uh, you can get that as part of a little set but I, I find the fine and the medium um, better uh, for this bulk uh, production and then I've also bought along my I've got a stash here of different Funton pens so this is the uh, it's got a rainbow tip rainbow stand this is the extra fine fountain pen and I'll load up some ink for that as well um, but in the Funton pen there's a rollerball an extra fine fountain pen a normal fine fountain pen, um, still very fine. 
Uh, there's a brush tip as well and the new technical tip. So there's, and I'm sure I've forgotten one. So there's all of the different tips. So that's why it's a fountain pen, not a normal old fountain pen. Now, uh, I'm thinking, uh, well, I'm not going to use all of this here. I, what about if I put that? So I do have a glittering um, full sale pen. Mm, that'll be nice. So I'm just going to pop uh, that in here. And I should be okay with tipping it. But I could use a little funnel or a little syringe. But let's just see how I go. Sometimes um, this can go very perfectly. Sometimes we can't. Oh, I need more ink. I, might, I think I might make a glittering full sail pen as well. I think that would be very nice. I could just tip this uh, ink in, but for some reason I'm enjoying <laughs> just tip popping it along like that. Yes, oh, shimmer me timbers, exactly, uh, Kimball. Love that. <laughs> so this is one of the this is one of the not so new new colours because they've already come out. Uh, just before Christmas. So this is Shiver Me Timbers, uh, Bordello and In the Navy. Oh my gosh, I thought I wasn't going to remember it. And then I remembered it. Now, you don't want to water these ones down. We want to put them in at full strength. And like I said, you don't have to put in, fill it up. You can just, a little bit's going to go a long way with this. Um, in any of the things. You don't need to fill the whole pan, you don't need to fill anything. Um, it's up to you. Now I'm going to label this. I will later also put a little um, swatch label on it too so I've got the thing. But in the meantime, so it's full sale. I can't even remember what pigment pebble it was. Oh, it was green, wasn't it? Okay, it's um, green thumb. Okay, I may as well put in there what it was. Uh, it was green thumb. I'll put PP for pebble pigment. Pick a pick a pick a pick. Okay, so I've got that little guy, and then because I've got the ink here, I'm going. I'll make a. Mm, well, I need a little bit more, and I've got to put a little bit of ink on here too. Mm, there we go. Are you clean? Yeah. We want a dirty birdie. We want a nice little clean. Just put a little swatch. So with these ones, I've got the, the a print of the colour, but I've left it um, clear, not clear, white on the other side. So you can add your little swatch there, so you can see the colour and the name and all of that. Right. Oh, let's do it. Let's get this happening. So with a fountain pen or a fountain pen. Uh, let's swirl that around. We've got the glimmer in there. Now you can fill your pen by putting it, the whole thing in the ink and drawing it through, but that's it's pretty shallow. I haven't got too much ink in there. So I'm going to do it like this. Um, I'm going to, uh, whoops, wind this all the way up. No, what am I doing? Wind that all the way down. And I'm going to just drop that in there and dexterously wind that back up. Usually the first time you wind uh, it up it doesn't bring up that much ink. Push it back down bring it up the next time but you don't have to fill the whole cartridge. You can just fill as much as that you think you're going to use because then you might want to um, use a different colour. So I don't want you to feel like you have to have a pen for every colour. I do because I have to have everything. <gasps> Look at this colour. Mm. I'm just going to use that with a brush in a minute. Ooh, beautiful. And um, I'm going to write on here as well because uh, I think this might be permanent. I love it. Full sale. And um, green thumb. Because I won't remember in a day's 
Tarn, what the hell? What is going on? Uh, now, you can already see the ink is travelling down and I can see the shimmer is travelling down, so that's all going to be gorgeous. We just need to give that a little bit of time. If you want to be naughty and hurry things along, we can give it some little whips like that, but it's better to let the ink just come down of its own accord and just give her a minute. And we've got our full sail. So when you've got any brush, usually has a little bit of stiffener in there, just so that it all gets to you nicely. Um, you just need to wash that off in water. And uh, I can't even begin to describe to you how gorgeous this ink is when it is drying. And it's going to be... Um, oh, now the thing with shimmer is you can't see it until the water's gone out of it. You, you can see it, but you can't, you just, you're not going to get the full effect because the water is glossy and getting in the way. Rude. Oh, I think I've drawn her scales the wrong way. But she's a magical creature, so... It doesn't really matter. She, she likes to do everything. Uh the different way around you know when she decided to um, hook up <laughs> with a uh, pirate and or catch him in her net uh, no one was surprised none of the other mermaids were surprised at all not for one second they were like oh this girl always got to be a bit different doing her own thing. She's going to become a pirate princess, everyone. No one's going to be surprised at all. Right, so we'll just let that dry and this will dry permanent, but that is full sail, okay, with a little bit of the green in it. Um, the colour on the levitation paper is going to be different to how it dries on other things. Um, let's put a little bit of... Um, uh, I I. But I won't do the shimmer in this one. I'll just uh, add this in here. Oh, there's Angus. How are you going? Have I been down here for ages? Hey, Jess. I groomed all the dogs today. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, okay. Thank you, my love. Oh, wait a minute. I could have used that. I forgot. I could still use it. Should I still use it? Okay. Or should I keep it for my dip pen? Mm, no, I'll just have straight. I'll just have straight eye eye. Okay, let's just do that. <sighs> Seems a bit sad, really. But really, I do, I do love uh, having a bit of the... Glimmerella's in there as well. Mm. Anyway, um, oof. again, just wash out the bits and pieces. We've got a pirate story happening here, Gus. Look at this colour. So, yes, it is a fountain pen ink. Uh, yes, um, but it's a mixed media any ink can be <laughs> turned into that. It's just, I, I like mixed media. I like pushing it further than it ever thought it was going to go. Uh, we, we are the mermaids, like this little one here, who, you know, we are the mermaids who just, when some, they do something a bit, you know, out of the box, everyone says, well, yeah, of course. We all knew that was going to happen. We might, uh, no one's shocked. People might be surprised with what we get up to, but no one was shocked by the developments. Oh, yum, that is going to be glittering on and on. Right. 
well, I think I'm going to go and have my dinner. But I really, I just wanted to show you what I forgot to show you this morning, which was the, <laughs> the gorgeous new Tattoo Ink colours. So there's 19 colours now in Tattoo Ink, which I'll do, I'll show you all of them in the next video, perhaps. And uh, what a wonderful life it is to have all these lovely things. It really is. And it's a very wonderful life for me to be able to share them with you. Otherwise, I'd just be doing them for myself, which would be okay. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> oh, Miss Linux finished face very taste at the end of January. I suppose it is February, rather. Yes. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. Well, uh, yes. So the new Pebble Pigments, that's the Birth of Venus set. So we I showed you that. Um, the tattoo inks, the new ink pens. And what was the other? That was it. I think that was it. That's plenty. That's enough. There's, that's good. Um, <laughs> that's enough for now. Uh, okay, well, thank you for joining me. And uh, on this fun and exploration that we always have and uh, I shall see you maybe not tomorrow I'm not sure yet because I've got life drawing I have to go and draw nude people or at nude person uh, have a wonderful evening or morning or wherever you are